It's Josh. Joshua Jones, aka J Cool, and y'all know the vibe. We here with Jeffrey Shawell, and I'm on the Gem and TV. It's your boy Tevin Sister Stutter here, rocking with the Tech Type. Joshua Jones, aka okay, J Cool, and Jeffrey Shawell. You know Josh, brother. And I've been Gem and TV. Yes, sir. So, man, let's dive right into it, man. Who's your favorite athlete? Man, I've been looking at a lot of uh, Jamal Adams that play for Jets. Yeah. Yeah, I've been looking at a lot of him lately. I feel it. I feel it. And then, um, favorite team? New England Patriots, you know what it's like. Yeah, I know the vibes. <laughs> oh, yeah, he from Boston, I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> we'll give him that pass. <laughs> but, uh, uh, man, game time, man. Who's in the headphones before the game? Who's the artist that you rocking with? Nick Mill, Dreams of Nine Minutes. I like that. Anything that you feel me just reflects off of what I'm going through now. It just makes me want to just go on the field and just go harder. You know, so, yeah. So, man, there's four different IPS high schools. You went to three of them. Explain that whole journey. Yeah. Man, it's like, <laughs> all right, so it was just like a while, like, me, like, going to Arlington, and then, no, I really went to Tinley first, Tinley. I didn't like it there. I didn't like it. So I ended up going to Arlington. I stayed there from, what, 8th, 7th grade? That's where I got yeah, my Yeah, 7th, you feel me? Yeah, 7th, yeah, so, like so that's what really, you feel me, so... It was just crazy there, and like I liked the atmosphere. I really wanted to graduate there, so they ended up like shutting down the school, making it to a middle school. So I knew uh, I was like either Attics or Washington. I'm going with Coach Mel, or I'm going to Attics where everybody thought about going and stuff. So uh, I had originally applied for Attics, and then I just last minute thing went to Washington. I was like, I'm gonna go ahead and just follow, trust my gut, just go to Washington. So I went to Washington. I didn't like it. I, I liked it, like football wise. That's the only reason why I, why I went, you know. But it was just wasn't where it's at for me. I felt like it was a lot of people that was just like hating and a lot of the negative vibes did. Like, uh, not, not necessarily talk down on them or nothing, but like, it was just like I was just, I went there to follow somebody and it just didn't like it. So I just got up out of here and that's why I'm at Tech now. I like it there. I'm just doing my thing over there as y'all can see. But yeah. Speak on that, man. First year at Tech, named Indy Star City Defensive Player of the Year. What's that mean to you, man? Man, finally I got the recognition. I knew, I knew I was yeah. the fan. But, like, overall, it's just like I was proud of myself. Like, just in general, like, not a lot of African-American males get, like, recognition. And, like, just anywhere. So, it was just, like, it was a big thing to me. Like, I, I finally got some name, like, some weight to my name now. So, people are like, yeah, yeah, you know. So, yeah. <laughs> I'm proud of you, man. Yeah, it was definitely. <laughs> In terms of motivation, who do you play for? I play for my future. I play for my future most definitely. Like I just want to, like me just growing up, just knowing that what I've been through and stuff like that, I just knew I wanted to put my kids in a position where I, you know, they could do better than what I was doing and stuff like that. I was going through and all that. So if you could rewind the clock, man, what would you tell the eighth grade version of yourself entering high school? My eighth grade version of me, like, Stay more focused. Like me, my eighth grade year was like, it was like, I don't know, I was lost. Like I, I didn't know what the, what I was doing. Like I didn't know where, where how I was gonna do it because I actually didn't play my eighth grade year, and then I played, I believe, my freshman year. Yeah. So or varsity. So I varsity my freshman year, but yeah, uh, most definitely it just I was just lost. Like just stay tunnel vision. That's what I would tell myself back in eighth grade. Life after sports. What you trying to do? See, that's why I'm not, I'm not sure. I have an interest in a lot of things, actually. So, like, I'm not sure yet. A lot of, I've been to a lot of colleges. They say you can't wait to go to college and see what you want to feel out, what you want to do and stuff like that. But mm -hmm. I'm going to start looking more into it and stuff like that because I want to be more, you know, yeah. like, that's about what I wanted to do. So, man, um, speaking of the time that you overcame adversity. Just daily life. It's like, every day, just life is just throwing punches at you. So you just got to learn how to, take one step at a time and just keep grinding out here is like stuff really hard especially just like I said as an African American male stuff really hard up for us so you know just keep grinding favorite moment of the season favorite moment like I, it was a lot of favorite moments like just over the overall the whole season like we made we made history like it's like first homecoming win like in some years yes now. in a minute so I've been over there I went over there and made stuff happen for the team I like I wanted I wanted to win a uh the best, team, team, the best team Tech had an enemy. <laughs> so, yeah, I've just been doing my thing. It's overall just, it's just been a great season for us. Funniest moment from the season? My boy Greg. My man is Greg, man. <laughs> man, this man got a fumble recovery, man. 
and then started running the opposite way. <laughs> <laughs> right there, he had the one yard line, mind you. He gets the he gets the ball and gets to run it out. He's like looking like this, and I'm like, I'm I, I'm cramped up at this point. That's why I'm the reason why he went in. And he's a, he's a backup outside linebacker, you know. So I'm cramped up, my legs going out through it and all that. So I'm I'm seeing, I'm like, oh, he. I said, "What are you doing?" Like everybody, like no. And he mm-hmm. got he got tackled, so he ended up scoring. But yeah, that Wait, was his own team. <laughs> no, 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 not his own teammate. It was I actually watching. They tackled him. They didn't realize what he was trying to do. So they tackled him. Yeah, but he was running. Back. <laughs> yeah. uh, so uh, uh, it was just like score, shit. Yeah, it was it was just funny overall. It was just funny. So that was was definitely favorite teacher, man. To be honest with you, I don't really have no favorite teacher. Like. I just kind of just go my daily basis, just doing what I got to do. Like, I mean, it's a lot of teachers that you know just try to keep me up, stuff like that. But I really don't have no favorite teacher. Like, I feel motive, like are the motive coach? Nah, nah, nah. I just, just in general, I, I feel like everybody has plays their role. Like, they play like you know right. role in my life. But I don't really have no favorites. Any hidden talents outside of sports? Uh, I, got a, I do a little bit of everything. I cut a little here, you feel me? Hey, talented. I, I, even though I write a little bit, I, I can hear it. I want to hear a little bit. He's a monster. Hey, yeah, yeah, a monster hoop, and I ain't gonna lie. Yeah. Hoop, too. I mean, everybody can watch. All that. Like, I let, like, let me hear it. Let me hear it, man. The bars, man. Let me let me get the little beat down and all that, you feel me? I feel it. I mean, I'm not gonna say too much because that, like, towards the end, I got, I'm gonna just do the hook. All right, I'm gonna do a hook for y'all. You feel me? I don't know. Uh oh, she done woke up now. <laughs> yeah, let me get walking to the camera. Ah, you I'm can. You about to go uh, in. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, here we go. I done struggled all my life. It ain't right. Floor cold in the house, colder than frostbite. No pops, grow up fast, lost like a kite. Had no guidance as a man, but I'm doing alright. Then struggled on my life, it ain't right. Floor cold in the house, colder than frostbite. No pops, grow up fast, lost like a kite. Had no guidance as a man, but I'm doing alright. Have dreams of being on the road, iced out, rocking all the shiny gold. Blackout, run up and I gotta, I, I, I'm not gonna say too much, but you know, you're not, you're not a lot of vibes, you feel me? But yeah, that's sound rocking, you feel me? I do a so little like, bit. Inspiration for uh, music, like who's, a, who's, a, who's somebody that inspires you to write music? My older brother, like, yeah, I see him, like, he be doing his thing, he, like, he writes too, so, so he basically just be trying to just create his own little way, but... You know, that's why I thought that was what got in the car. Yeah. And I was like, "Wait, he taller than him." Yeah, <laughs> that's all I look back. Yeah, my, older, this. <laughs> my older brother, like he, yeah. like he said, like he, he just know just me knowing that he been through a lot of stuff that I've been through. like we eleven months apart, so everything that I've been through, he been through. So he's still on and coming, you know. So him most definitely. Vision for this upcoming season. I gotta go at it hard. It's senior year. I gotta go at it hard. So I'm planning on like I'm trying to do this uh, when the little defensive player thing again, uh, most definitely the uh, All Star game. I'm trying to mostly yeah. be in that. So I got goals. I just need to go hard to succeed. You know. Shout out to people, man. Uh, shout out to my man, most, you know, most definitely number one. Cause anything that I go through, anything I need, like he he here for me. I just want to say shout out to my mama. Shout out to my brothers. All that like. It's just I keep my circle small and I know how to move or remove, like maneuver, all that. Like just shout out, to, shout out to my man Stevie, shout out to them, sure. hooking me up, getting me out there, all that. Yeah, so. I definitely reached out. Yeah. <laughs> so just shout out to everybody. Thanks. Man, uh, and uh, speak to, speak about my man, some straight up mentor, uh, Kurt. All right, Kurt, yeah. my man, uh, straight up, uh, he mentor, uh, he hooks people up like on basketball teams. He does a lot for kids, and I just want to shout out straight up too. You know. It's Kurt. He just does a lot for me. He also like another father to me or whatever you want to call it. Um, he also just talks to me like, listen, you it's you can't be chasing the money all the time at all. Like you just gotta be grinding. I know you need money, stuff like that, but you get that money stuff gonna come. Like so that's one thing that, you know, I keep in mind when it comes to him. So he's just a big part of my my life, you know. And we appreciate you rocking out with us, man. Mm-hmm. I always love, man. Keep moving forward. Like, hold it down. Mm-hmm. You set that goal. Two-time City Defensive Player of the Year. Mm-hmm. Indiana All-Star, man. You the leader. They're going to be looking to you to lead them in the classroom. 
on and off the field, man. Just rally the truths when it's wartime, man. You gotta be that voice. Yep. Be that Linebacker, voice. man. You the heart and yeah. the pulse. You the soul of the defense, man. You the quarterback of the defense. So you gotta lead in the in the classroom and just and really at tech, man. There's so many kids with talent, but lack guidance. Yeah. So like, Plus everybody can't just do it. Everybody not yeah. built like that. Everybody just don't got the heart mm-hmm. and the heart to fight. So if they can see one positive individual, man. You don't never know the next kid that you can inspire. So, man, definitely, man. Keep mm-hmm. moving forward, for real. We out. Peace. <laughs>